So what I'd like to do in today's session is I'd like to take you through an example of how you can use Enterprise together with SAP Business One to manage the entire service call to resolution process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into Enterprise uh, and I'm going to log in with my Richard at OEC computer account. In this particular scenario, I've got a, a company set up and I've already created some example service calls. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you right through the entire process and show you how you can access this functionality from all those different aspects from enterprise, if you are an enterprise user. Then we're also going to take a look at it actually from SAP Business One because there will be times when your SAP Business One users will need to interact with your service calls. And then to wrap things up, I'm going to show you how utilizing our Outlook add-in for Outlook for Windows, you'll be able to take inbound emails coming in from your customers and you'll be able to automatically create service calls in Enterprise, which of course then link back to the service calls in SAP Business One. So the normal process is you would traditionally start off by getting a service call from a customer. So let's dive in and we'll take a look at our service functionality. So I simply go up here onto my menu into the web apps and you can see that right now I've actually got an existing service call that's open. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new service call. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to create this for Earthshaker Corporation. So all I do is I click in here and I start typing the name of the customer. And there it is, Earthshaker Corporation and I am going to log this call from Bob McKensley and he's called me from their main office and I'm going to select their bill to address. Now remember of course with their standard SAP Business One you have your customer equipment cards and you have your contracts and of course with Enterprise all that information is available to you from here inside the, uh, the rich web app. So if I want to, I can pick um, my customer equipment card. And then if I want to, if there is a contract that's available, I'm able to select that contract. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to go and log a call on their server point 1000 or server point 10,000 is actually the, the full description. And it's actually relating to this contract. You Now you'll notice this contract actually expired on the 31st of the 12th, 2012. And that's okay, because what the system's gonna do, it's gonna tell, just give me a warning. Hey, the dates that I'm putting in right now are outside the contract range, but that's just a warning and that's okay. So Bob's server is down. So this is gonna be a high priority call. So I'm gonna put in here that the subject is that server is down and then I'm going to allocate it to my technician Richard Duffy. Now of course all of the different technicians that are available in the system I can select from that list but I'm going to allocate it to myself for now and right now this has an open status. The call type is normal. It's not outside of hours. But remember, all of these parameters that you specify here in these drop-down lists, these come directly from your SAP Business One implementation anyway. So it's a normal call type, and then it's a fault. So it's created on the 29th of the 5th, and then what the system's automatically going to do is it's automatically going to schedule it um, for a starting time of the same time tomorrow. But you know what? We're actually going to start working on this service call right now. So I'm going to select that as being the start time and I expect that the end times probably maybe going to be at five o'clock tomorrow. So I can just go in here and I can use our graphical controls to make my changes or of course I can go in here and I can just type those numbers in manually and just make that 5 p.m. Now I can put some remarks here. So there's no resolution yet because I haven't been able to allocate a technician to it to go out and take a look at it, but that's my initial assessment. So I can also go and add some activities here. So I've got logging the inbound call and the details are call was log from the queue 
And of course, you will have your own standard processes and standard ways that you document your service calls. Again, my purpose here um, is just to show you how you would do that. Now I'm going to assign that again to myself, Richard Duffy. And the start time, again, I started it right now. And it actually only took me um, one minute. So my end time is exactly the same. So I'm going to add that. And then, of course, you'll see that now goes across here into my related activities. So that's all done. And so now when I hit save, it's going to automatically send an email to Bob acknowledging that we have received his service call. All right, and you'll see that service call has now been saved. So now I have my two service calls. Now, just to show you, what you'll see I've got here is I've, I'm actually running SAP Business One. When I go in here into my service calls and I go here to my last service call that's logged, what it will allow me to do is it will allow me to um, call up that service call and there it is there is a fault now I don't know if you noticed that but just quickly it flashed up and said hey this service contract is not relevant to this particular uh, service call because it's outside the contract dates so that's a great indication and it shows you how even though you've created the service call in enterprise once it's brought into SAP business one all of the standard functionality um, that you have inside SAP Business One that you use as an SAP Business One user, all of that standard functionality is there as well. So of course you can see here I can go and supplement this with some additional information. So the call came in from the telephone and my problem subtype now is actually equipment down. So you might have a scenario here where you have your normal service people sitting on the phones utilizing the enterprise service call functionality so they take the majority of calls and then it comes through to a service coordinator and the service coordinator has a full sap business one license so they can then come in here and they can work with that data here inside sap business one but all that all that information has been captured by my team who are using the low cost web based application that's part of enterprise. All right, so I can go in here and I can update that service call. Now, of course, now what can happen here is I'm looking at my activities and you'll see there is an activity that, that was logged by the person using enterprise. So now I'm here and as a service coordinator, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add a new row. So now I am going to specify that uh, there is a note that I'm adding to this and it's a follow-up note and you can see I can either assign it to a business one user or I can assign it to an employee. So remember with enterprise, enterprise users are listed in the system as employees. So that's how we will track this now back and have it show up in enterprise against me. All right, so I've got some remarks here and then I'll go in here and I'll say add and that additional activity has now been put in there. But you know what? We now want to go and allocate this service call to a technician. One of the great things that we have here inside enterprise is the ability to call up our scheduler here in our service calls. And what the scheduler allows you to do is it allows you to select all of the different employees that you have that are service technicians. And you can simply select them and you can select one or more of those service technicians. Right now I've just got the one service technician which is Richard Duffy. But then what I'm able to do is I'm able to go in and see all of the different service calls and activities that are available. So right now here is our new server down. I am going to get Richard to go out there tomorrow and I want him there first thing in the morning so I'm going to get him out there tomorrow morning at 9am so I simply click and drag and drop that service call across and that's now automatically been scheduled for Richard for tomorrow at 9am. Alright so you'll see there we go at 9 a.m. we've got that service call scheduled that the server is down, spoke to Bob and the server power supply appears to be faulty. So what's going to happen now is Richard's going to get his 
uh, service call is going to be allocated to him in his service application. So let's go and take a look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go and dive into my enterprise service app and you'll see I've got that loaded here and I'm going to select that enterprise service and it's going to bring up my application and I'm going to sign in using my username and password. So now you'll see when I go here into my settings I'm signed in as Richard Duffy and I go here and I tap on my service calls and now when I take a look at my service calls for tomorrow you'll now see that I've got a service call there which is the one that we just scheduled so it's a server down so I can go into my details now I've got all the details here of the service call and then when I arrive out on site with Bob and his team and I'm now resolving the issue I can go in and I can start recording the time that I spent on site and all I do is I hit the record button and so now you'll see the system is recording all of my time on site with Bob and his team so when I finished recording the time that I have spent on site I simply hit stop and you'll see it then records the start and the end time for my service call and now I can go into my resolution and I can record the details of exactly what it was that I did and then I simply tap on signature and I'm going to ask Bob McKensley and he's going to sign off on that service call for me so then I'll hit save that's now uh, attached his signature on my service call is now attached but of course if I wanted to let's say for example I'd had to replace the power supply um, and so here's my new power supply just for the sake of the exercise I can go back in here into photo and I can take a photo of the power supply with all of the serial number details and everything that relate to that so then I'm going to say use the photo and that's now attached there as well and if that's done I can now say look that service call is now completed I'm going to hit resolve the service call is now resolving and then it's going to go straight back into enterprise and then through enterprise into SAP business one and record that that service job has now been resolved uh, and the service call is now closed